So, Tape's got his HSI Mark II and his Panther, totally not a Nazi tank, hold up at Lake Dermal. So, we are sending none other than the Tartarus Mark II to go deal with them. We've got the same crew as last time, I think. I'm not I'm not sure, I just put in the only crew that I actually had. Uh, so, this time we've actually got four of these artillery missiles. So, we've got four of these sidewinders in order to take out the aircraft and the flat cannons. And then, to take out the tank, which has got a hell of a lot of armor... No one near as much armor as this, but a lot of armor. We've got four of these artillery missiles, which are medium to long range. And uh, we've also got these two howitzers at the front, just in case it can resist those missiles, which it probably can, to be honest. And I've made some improvements since last time. So we've got some much heavier landing gear this time, which uh, looks very nice when it's unpacked. We're not going to unpack it because it takes ages to open. And also, we've got a load of ammo attached directly onto the armor. And this means that if the insides get screwed up, but the armor is still intact, which happened last time, the guns can continue firing. We've also got a probe up there, and we've also got some RTGs so it can supply itself with power. So if tape can't take out the armor, tape can't take out the Tartarus. This thing officially is the Guardian of the Underworld, I mean, damn, actually, that, that's Cerberus as the Guardian, but whatever, Tartarus has something to do with the Underworld, I've forgotten what it is, anyway, so we're just going to turn ourselves around, and we are going to get heading to Lake Dermal, if we are going to cause a lot of trouble for one Territorial Arctic Protection Entente. And here we are, we're approaching Lake Dermal, now, I, uh, <laughs> this took a long time, so I actually just went and had a nap, genuinely, <laughs> I had some pizza, and I had a nap. Which was, uh, which was very nice. I, was, I just used the pilot control, set it onto target, and I just left it. Because this thing can roll upside down, it can go up hills, it can go down hills and everything. I just left it at about a third throttle. Uh, obviously, we're throttling up now because I just stopped to take a quick save. Um, and yeah, I could just leave it because it, it's not stable. It rolls over and all, the and, and, and all that McGubbins. But when it rolls over and stuff, it, it just cannot crash into anything. I, <laughs> it's so compact that nothing happens to it. And as long as it kept going towards its target, um, I was able to just leave it one time's time accelerate and I went, went and had a sleep. And when I got back, it was 20 kilometers away and it was upside down, but uh, that was quite easily fixed with these air thrusters. Uh, now, we're not going straight down here because, uh, oh, I know, it, it likes to flip, up, like, flip around when you're going down hills and stuff. Um, let's try not to get onto this incline too much. Um, and I, although it's funny when it flips up and stuff, that's um, <laughs> why it's got a nickname Roly Boly. Um, it, it's not particularly helpful when you're trying to launch missiles up into the air, okay? So, we're going to try and avoid that at all costs. Um, so I've got sidewinders. Let's set up our guard. Oh, hello! <laughs> yep, there it goes. There it goes. It's, uh, yeah, it's probably driven by the ballet troupe of uh, Clefou, I'm thinking. Yeah, it does. It's, see, it, it can just do this. It can do this all the way over to Lake Dermal. Although Tape can't actually spell Dermal because it's spelt with an E and he spelt it with a U. So he can't even spell the names of his own bases. I mean, what an incompetent leader he must be. Uh, right, this is this is getting a bit silly. Let's try and slow down before we enter load range and we start having an HSI 2 uh, come for us. Now, I've done one assault already and... The plane tried to take off and smashed into the end of the runway, and I thought, okay, you know, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give that another chance because um, I don't know, I, I, I don't think it's fair just to go in one time, have it explode. Like I went in multiple times into Jebediah Sands when tapes uh, defenses weren't responding. It's not really fair to uh, to win based on glitches, I think. So, um, right, can you stop turning now? It is funny, but can you, <laughs> can you stop? Can you stop, please? I, I probably need to put more rotational thrusters onto this thing. I'll put some on the inside of the uh, the armor next time. There we go. That's an improvement for next time. It's taking off. There we go. We have an HSI leaving the ground. Okay, let's watch it. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Here we go. Oh, it's taken off. Okay, it's coming for us. Okay, HSI. I see you there. Okay, we're going to wait till it gets a little closer. And then we'll fire off our missiles. We'll engage. Just gonna try and keep an eye on it. It looks like again, it's gonna gain some altitude and then it's gonna come for us. Okay, yeah, it knows we're here. It sure knows we're here. Okay. Come and get me, bro. Let's just uh let's fire a warning shot, shall we? Just a warning shot. There we go. Send the sidewinder at it. Now it's in the air. Just attract its attention a bit. Okay, so we've got Sidewinders from the Panther engaging my Sidewinder. Okay, the HSI is coming around now. Hello, hello, it's coming back. 
It's coming for us. Okay, here we go. I think that sidewinder is going to fall a little short, but um, let's head out over the water. Okay, is the sidewinder going to go for it? I think we're going to miss just about. Has it just missed? Has it just missed? I think it's missed. Yeah, it's missed. Oh god, we got missiles incoming. Right, it's return fire. Fire two more. How many do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five remaining. Okay, five remaining. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, we've got incoming. We've got incoming Amrams. Okay, okay. Here we go. We need to be careful about this. Oh, we are being engaged. This is putting up a hell of a lot of a better fight than the HSI Mark One. Fire up another missile. Come on, let's get let's get this thing. Let's get it. Okay, we've got incoming. We've got incoming missiles. Let's uh, see if we can get behind this this hill here. Where are our missiles going? Our missiles are engaging it. Okay. Oh crap, we've got incoming. Uh oh. Come on. Go for the countermeasures. Don't go for me. Whoa! Oh! We got hit! We've been hit! What hit us? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We took a hit, we took a hit, we took a hit. I don't know what hit we took, but we've got missiles engaging on the HSI. Come on, they're going for it, they're going for it! Come on! Yes! Eat that, HSI Mark II! <laughs> Blown out of the sky! Oh, we got an incoming, though. we got incoming. Oh, God. Come on! Miss! Miss! Whoa! That was close! Holy smokes! That was intense! Jeez, okay, what hit did we take? I think it was just armor damage. Yeah, yeah, they blew off like they blew off like an entire back panel of armor. But three layers of armor. Yeah, we shrugged it off. They, did, they took off the entire rear section of armor though. So now we're down to two layers of armor on the back. Oh, this thing took a missile hit to the back. I'm really proud of this thing actually. What's that? What's that sort of one doing? Okay. Ooh, that was intense. So there we go, fire off the one the one artillery missile and see what happens. And then if that actually can get near it and it gets shot down or something, we'll fire the other three. Okay, because these things have got quite a long range, so hopefully it should be okay. Here we go. Okay, coming in for the Panther. Artillery missile, make me proud. M26, this is, these are our new GPS-guided artillery missiles, so... Let's test them. What a, what a better opp what better opportunity to test them than on a on a Nazi tank? Okay, it's going pretty high. It's got a pretty long burn time. Looks like it's going to be coming down pretty hot. Um, where are you going? Still going up into the sky. Um, I don't. Pfft, doesn't look like it's going for the Panther at all. Nope, that has just gone up into the sky. Um, <laughs> um, where are you going? Oh, it's still going. It's still going. What? Um, is it going to come back down? <laughs> I don't know. What's it doing? I just went out of fuel. Huh. That did not work at all. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know if that was a malfunctioning missile or something, but that did absolutely nothing. Um, right, I think we're close enough to use our sidewinders. Okay, let's try the sidewinders. we got, what, three of them? Three of them, okay. I, the artillery missiles don't look like they're working for some reason. I have to talk to Harpooner about that. Okay, here we go. The Sidewinders should be good. Yeah, we know Sidewinders work. Sidewinders are great. Okay, here we go. Let's hope they don't hit the hill or anything, because there is quite a lot of stuff in the way of them. Um, so they might hit a hill. I'm worried about that, actually. Okay, here we go. Don't hit anything, please. Please, please don't hit anything. They're going low, though. Okay. We might be too far away for this. We might have to use the howitzer. Advance a little and shoot the shoot the howitzer from over the hill. Now they are coming in though. Okay, okay. 
I still have faith in them. Come on, do better than the, than the artillery missiles. Jeez, this is artillery. Oh, we've got this giant radar thing in the way as well, though, which is a problem. Oh no, here we go, here we go. They're coming in. It's firing countermeasures. Come on, come on, come on. You can do this, outside runners. You can do this. Just hope they don't fall short. Come on, come on. Hopefully they have just enough fuel. It's launching countermeasures. Oh, oh, that fell short. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, no, no, it fell short. They all fell short. Not just, just slightly too far away. Okay, well, let's uh, let's close the distance a bit. Then we'll try those artillery missiles. Um, but I think they're they're pretty worthless, actually. <laughs> Look how it's gone off off in that direction for some reason, um, which is a bit odd. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just have to I'll just have to um, possibly use the howitzer on this thing. So we drove around the lake a little bit until we got to a place with a, a relatively gentle-ish incline, and uh, there's actually a little little port and a little fishing pier here. So I don't know if this was some kind of tourist attraction before uh, tape turned it into a military base, but uh, well, you know what can you do? Uh, it looks like the gentlest incline is going to be straight up that way, so that's where we are going to head because this thing doesn't like particularly steep inclines. And uh, you need to be heading straight up the incline, otherwise, uh, as we found out, it does like to roll as well. And uh, it's not going to be particularly helpful if this thing starts rolling uh, when we're trying to blow up tapes panther with dual howitzers. Now, yeah, these artillery missiles, I tested another one of them. And their targeting system is completely gone. I don't know whether that's because uh, they got fired when we got hit with that missile uh, in the back, which has dislodged a few plates of armor, actually. Um, you're wobbling around a bit which isn't helping all that much but um i don't know whether, whether that's it or whether they, yeah they are just dud missiles so clearly all the technology that kowalski claims to have brought back from the future isn't uh it isn't all helpful uh it isn't all perfectly operational just yet but you know it's, it's only early tests so uh we're willing to forgive it and i think i accidentally just fired two howitzer shots Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, it's fine, we can ignore that. Uh, we've got plenty of ammunition. How many cannon shells do we have? Uh, 60. Wait, why is it reloading? And it says we've got full full cannon shell. Oh, never mind, I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okie dokie. Um, so yeah, it's run out of missiles, definitely. So I think a full frontal assault is probably our best bet. And this can take quite a few hits, so... I'm relatively confident that we can take it down. Uh, with just a full frontal assault with those howitzers, I'm I'm pretty confident. Uh, and while they're reloading, we can swap to the uh, to the Millennium cannons, and we can do some damage with those while the uh, howitzers are reloading, because the howitzers do have quite a long reload time, um, despite you know how obviously how powerful they are. Um, so we are going to have quite a bit of open ground, and which it's going to be returning fire. But as I said, this thing is so well armoured. I think we'll be fine. Tapes. He calls it a light tank. Now it's got armour on it. It's covered in armour plating, but it's only got one layer of armour plating, and it has got a lot of gaps in it. Whereas this has got three layers of armour plating, and the front of this is uh, practically indestructible. What I am worried about is that he'll blow off our weaponry, um, which would be very, very bad. Since we are going straight for him, which we don't have much choice because these houses can't really swivel much. Um, I am worried he'll be able to take out the howitzers and possibly the flat cannons, and if he does that, we'll be defenseless and we'll have to pull back because uh, it, it'll just rip us to shreds because we won't have anything to defend ourselves with. So that is my only concern about this. Otherwise, I I don't think I think we'll be okay. I think <laughs> I haven't done this before. I know Twitch and the other guys they've done a lot of uh, full frontal assaults and stuff with howitzers, and they've been they've been fine. But I've never done anything like this before, mainly because all my hover vehicles I, I tend to hate them. Like, I hated the Artemis so much, Urgh! and uh, even when I turned it into a plane kind of thing, I still hated it. Um, but I really do like this tank, um, and so I guess now I've got a viable hover vehicle. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to doing these frontal assaults, so here we go. Okay, looks like the only shot we're going to get is when we get over this hill. And then it's going to be, it's going to be gloves off. It's going to be <laughs> proper boxing match between our two main tanks. <sighs> okay, eat this, Pat Panther. You just, you are no match for the Tartarus. Come on, we're, this is, this is an all-out battle. Democracy versus fascism. We can do this. Well, he calls it an Athenian democracy. And then, <laughs> so you can vote if you fight in the army, and then everyone who joins the army dies. So yeah, it's just a fascist dictatorship, let's be honest. Uh, can we get over the hill just yet? No, 
I still can't quite get a shot over it. Just not quite. Yeah, I think we are just going to have to wait till we get over the hill. Okay, but then it's going to have... We're going to be easy game once we get over this hill, though. So, we're going to have to make the first shot count, and then we're going to have to switch to the uh, Millennium Cannons. Okay. So, one shot. Make it count. Yeah, okay, here we go. No using guard mode. We don't need to use guard mode here. Okay, go a little to the right. That possibly starts slowing down. We don't want to go over too fast. Don't want to smash into the uh, into the runway. That could be bad. Okay, it's going to open fire the moment we pop over this hill. So as I said, we make that first shot count, and then they're going to take a while to reload. So I don't know whether we'll get a second shot or not. There it is, there it is! 300 meters! Oh, we're so unbelievably close. We can do this, we can do this! Come on. Can we, can we get a shot? No, not quite. Just peek over the top. Line up a shot, line up a shot, line up a shot. And... Come on, pull down a bit, pull down a bit! Uh, come on, come on! <laughs> Eat that! Tape scum! Boom! <laughs> fire, fire, fire! It's returning fire! It's returning fire! Fire everything! We're taking damage! Taking damage, is it dead? It looks dead. No, that's still very much intact. It's still firing at us. Whoa, we're taking hits! Return fire, return fire! Return fire! Oh my god, so much carnage. Whoa! We can get two more howitzer shots on it now. Fire the howitzers, we're going to crash into the runway, I think. Turn to the left a bit, turn to the left a bit. Come on, get those howitzers lined up. Fire! Yeah! Eat this! We are going to crash into the runway. I think we can just about avoid it, though. Oh no, we're rolling! Oh! Oh, bar do a barrel roll! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, hello. We're getting dangerously close to uh, smashing something. And not just tape tank. We're going to break our own tank at this rate. Come on, slow down. Can we stop? <laughs> That's what you call a barrel roll. Oh, that looks very well and truly destroyed. Uh, let's just let's just make sure it's dead. Uh, if we can uh, stop rolling, please stop rolling, please, Mr. Tank. I would appreciate it. We need to we need to slow down. Whoa, let's slow down. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that tank is uh, is quite dead. <laughs> there we go. That's what I think of your government tape. Yeah, eat that. Boom! Oh, explosions, man! Explosions! Right, let's uh, let's get our gear out and land before we before we break our own tank any further. Um, yeah, I think it's fair to say that's dead. <laughs> okay, uh, extend the gear. Extend the gear. The gear's extending. There we go. Um, we're going to be stuck next to this wall, but I just want to set ourselves down before we uh, before this tank takes too much more damage because uh, I'm struggling to control it because we've taken some hits and we've got an offset center of mass now. Come on, down we go, down we go. Okay, set down, set her down, set her down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh, are we down? We're down. Okay. Oh, that was intense. Uh, we are... <laughs> we're kind of hiding behind the side of the runway here. But, um, yeah, that was quite difficult to control. Let's let's make sure this is finished off. I don't think anyone's going to survive that. Yeah, I think they're all dead. Right, I think it's just about time we took down this flag. Has it got anything on the plaque? Stay out of my swamp. <laughs> Right. Uh, sorry, tape. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in your swamp. Hey, sorry, Shrek. I took your swamp. You're saying that couples are green, so they do look a, look a little bit like Shrek. Now you think about it, they kind of look like ogres. 
little, little ogres. Uh, <laughs> the frame rate is dying from the amount of uh, debris and stuff in this area. Uh, but there we go, we shall claim it for the glory of the Penguinort Empire. And uh, there we go. P-E- I'm going to spell it correctly this time. It's Lake Dermal with an E. Learn to spell. Ogre. Wait, fascist ogre. <laughs> Wait, what's it? Yeah, uh, Nazi Shrek. There we go. Tape is now Shrek confirmed. <laughs> there we go. Lake Dermal is ours. So our final action today is to launch this Poseidon Mark II at Kerbin's Bottom. Now, I know the Poseidon Mark II, it did struggle for some reason against, uh, against tape last time, but hopefully... Hopefully that won't happen again. I think what he did is when he fired a missile towards it, since it was quite near the surface, he did actually manage to take out the Koning Tower, and that meant that it took out all of its uh, all of its control functions, so then it couldn't return fire anymore. At least that's that's what I think. I might be wrong. Uh, but anyway, we're going to launch another one at Kerbin's Bottom because I want to keep my options open for when I'm going to launch my nuclear weapon. Um, I've got about five bases at which I could launch it, which would be well protected. And I want to make this one of them. Uh, so we obviously we've got ourselves up Poseidon, and uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool. So we just put this on guard mode. Uh, we won't make the same mistake we made last time. We're putting it on a high scan interval because I think that made it mess up last time. So take getting a lot of shots before it started opening fire. So uh, there we go. We're just going to put it onto a, <laughs> quite a low scan interval. So hopefully we open fire before tape attacks uh, next time. But uh, this is really this is uh, this base is quite far from the Arctic. So uh, yeah, I think I think this uh, this would be pretty safe down here, and uh, hopefully. Hopefully next time he attacks, this uh, the submarine can actually uh, take out whatever's attacking. And there's also a lad here as well, so this is quite a well-defended base. And uh, there we go. Thank you for watching, everyone. I've been the Beardy Penguin. Sorry that the breaks are taking so long, but please don't harass me. Go harass Agonarch. Don't, don't have a go at me when it's not even my turn, okay? Uh, but there we go. That has been turn 15. So Harpooner53 will be joining after Twitchy's turn. And obviously now we have nuclear weapons, so let's slip the dogs of war.